Hi guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about the new season. It's season 59 in Clash Royale, believe it or not. It's gonna start 6th of May, and the name of the season is gonna be Magic Mayhem. Arena is gonna be Magic Mayhem, and in the shop, you're gonna have Epic Book to collect, which is very good because we have a new spell called Void, and Evolution the new evolution in the game that's coming up it's wizard everybody's favorite card in the game right i have to, i believe that wizard evolution is pretty much balanced it's gonna be good because evolution because the wizard is not that great of a card by itself so evolution is giving him a little bit of progress and a little bit of balance right i don't know maybe you disagree agree tell me in the comment section what do you guys think about evolution wizards new spell looks very interesting it's costing three elixir it's gonna be a, probably a game changer because everybody can unlock it. Supercell is giving us this spell for free. So yeah, the only thing you need to do is upgrade. So I hope you guys have enough epics in your collection. Events that are coming for this season is gonna be a Void Launch. It's gonna be from 6th to 13th of May. Then we're gonna have Wizard Evolution Draft, which is gonna be from 13th to 20th of May spell cauldron it's gonna be from 20 to 27 of may three wizard showdown from 27 to 3rd of june challenges are very similar void launch from 10 to 13 of may wizard evolution draft from 70 to 20 of may spell cauldron from 24 to 27 of may three wizard showdown 31st to 3rd of may there is royal tournaments of course standard royal tournament from 11 to 15 of may and then we're gonna have royal tournament triple elixir from 25th to 29th of may one versus one uh, mode classic only and 2v2 is gonna be as well classic only golden rush is gonna be on may from may 10 to 13 17 to 20 24 to 27 crown rush is gonna be from 31st of may until 3rd of june there is a, again a lot of cosmetics coming as the new season comes in the emotes that we have the path of the legends is gonna have a ghost king emote then we're gonna have hog rider thinking emote king dark spell king squad baby king squad spiral wizard evolution came is gonna be in the past row wizard evolution magic is gonna be in the challenges i'd rather think i think in the king dark spell is gonna be on the I think on the battle pass right and then the other one kings and king squads pearl and baby is gonna be inside of the shop battle banners there is a lot of battle banners so who loves battle banners some of the battle banners are gonna look like this here i'm gonna show you so if you like some of them definitely try to get them tower skins we have two tower skins one from past royale is gonna be clunkingham tower i hope i'm pronouncing that right and then from the special event, there's gonna be Arcane Podium. It's gonna be interesting to see. Boosted cards for this season is, of course, Wizard, Electro Wizard, Ice Wizard, and Poison. Poison. So I hope uh, you guys are gonna enjoy this new season. Definitely, Evolution Wizard looks, in my eyes, pretty balanced because the card by itself is not amazing. But I, I would say it's gonna change the mid ladder meta. It's gonna shift a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit of power. Because the wizard, evolution wizard, is not costing too much, one elixir, and it has a shield. So it's kind of protected a little bit, which is getting him a little bit of more value, right? I don't know what do you guys think about the new spell. The new spell is coming inside of the game. It's going to be free to play for everybody. But you need to have resources to upgrade your spells. So keep up in mind that void spell is three elixir, it's epic cards. So you guys, what you guys need to have is those epic cards or epic book of books to upgrade your spell to the maximum level so you can enjoy it on ladder, 2v2s, wherever you guys play it. It looks like the void as a spell, this is the first spell that's coming into the game in like four, five years, I guess. So it's our first spell in a long, long time. And it does look similar to the lightning. It does give a lot of value, I think. I think it's gonna get nerfed, honestly. So I would not spend much money on it because it does look like it's gonna be nerfed because it's gonna be too powerful. Because why would I run a rocket that's costing much more elixir than a three elixir spell that does much more damage, right? It kills executioners, wizards, Whatever is multiplying on the field is gonna be 
super amazing and I think a lot of people are gonna use it so it's gonna be probably emergency nerf or pre nerfed pre release which is my thinking it's gonna happen because a lot of people are already complaining on social media about this new spell so yeah the big expectations but the reality is gonna kick in and the spell is gonna get nerfed so I don't know I'm a big believer it's gonna get nerfed because it's gonna be in every deck probably at the start of the meta at the start of the new season as you guys know the new season is also gonna start with all of the evolutions gets nerfed most of them are getting nerfed because um, yeah they have two broken like on the high top ladder you can see the evolution bomber playing with the drill like a lot and evolution bomber with the drill it does a lot of damage believe it or not i don't know if you guys see this deck quite often but me as a graveyard player i do see that drill evolution bomber deck pretty much often there's a lot of giant decks circulating around as well but a lot of cycle decks as well so we will see how all of this is going to shift the meta i still believe firecracker is very strong in evolution but we will see how much is going to shift and which evolution is going to go on the top of everything which one is gonna be the strong winner because right now all of them are getting nerfed so yeah keep up your resources uh, being very mindful what you are upgrading think about what decks you can like play in the future the cards because it's costing a lot especially if you are like a max player and you don't have all of the resources and you want to have elite wild cards just be very cautious which cards you want to upgrade think about it oh can i use this card in multiple decks is it versatile enough so we will see uh, as well i think the duchess the duchess is gonna be so significantly nerfed that <laughs> after the update that i don't think a lot of people are gonna play the duchess to be honest with you because why would i play the duchess that's gonna have less hp than the princess so i'm gonna go back to my princess and the duchess daggers when they went out she is just uh, feels underwhelming but a lot of people think she's broken right now but with the hp i think she's gonna be kinda ditch as well as evolution bomber i think his whole purpose is gonna be um mm, went to the depths we will see i don't know we will see what's gonna happen but for now it does look like uh, it, it, all of the evolutions are getting nerfed which i think it's necessary it definitely is a game changer the evolutions in the game i don't think they brought anything super amazing to the game because a lot of them you need to pay it's pay to win system if you don't have it you need to pay for it to enjoy it at the first glance so you know not many people want to pay to enjoy the game right they sometimes they just gonna play with the cards they have or wait for collect enough shards to play the card they want not everybody is throwing their money left and right into the video games right so um, we will see how it's gonna oh, mobile games uh, we will see how how it's gonna be but definitely it's gonna shift the meta is gonna shift the new season is gonna start we will see how all of this is gonna develop how all of this is gonna look what the pro player scene is gonna say about it because one percent of the community is the player pro player base and they are pretty vocal on social media i think it's definitely different when you play mid ladder like i do i play mid ladder and it's it's completely different decks when the, when you come to the a little bit higher into the leagues then you are facing some stuff completely different so i am a graveyard player i play this deck for a very long time sometimes i shift to the hogs or something else but i just lost a couple of games uh i had some defeats expos there is some royal giant love uh, depends what you're playing what you're playing this is uh what you're facing right and it's probably gonna face something else if you're playing something different but yeah we will see i'm looking forward to to the new season uh something fresh something new I was definitely one of those people that wanted to see wizard shine so one elixir card looks uh, that he's maybe gonna be very good so i don't know maybe i'm gonna consider to pay money to enjoy his gameplay um i don't think he's gonna get nerfed though but the time will tell because the mid ladder people we do like to play wizards <laughs> <laughs> so we do like to play wizards and i think uh, it's gonna overwhelm the, a lot of things but wizard in the current state uh, is not that good even i mean it can be okay but you know it's not so powerful like some other cards 
but yeah. Okay, I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. Stick around with me. My grandma is calling. Bye. <laughs>